I'm going to show you 50 hotkeys ranging from beginner to intermediate. And number one is X. You use that to delete objects. Number two is you can press Shift A to add objects. You can orbit around your scene with middle mouse click. You can pan around your scene with Shift plus middle mouse click. You can press Shift D to duplicate an object. You can press G to move an object around. In edit mode with a vertice selected, you can press G twice to move it along an edge. You can press R to rotate an object. You can press it twice to rotate like a gimbal. Press S to scale your object, and you can even go negative. You can right click in the middle of any action you're doing, and it will undo it immediately. You can click and drag in your scene to select multiple objects at once. You can press C to activate circle select, and then use it to go over objects and select them in that way. When moving an object, you can press X to constrain it to the X, and same with the Y and Z axis. And you can press Shift X to move on anywhere but the X, and you can do that with the same for Y and Z. You can press K to activate the knife tool and then make cuts with it. You can press T to turn the toolbar off and on. And if you have a numpad, these next ones will be really useful for you. With the one key, you can view in the front, which is the Y axis. You can also press three to view the side and seven to view the top. You can press control one to view the opposite of the front, which is the back, control three to view the other side and control seven to view the bottom. You can also press 5 to toggle orthographic and perspective view. And then 4 will shift your view rotating to the left and 6 to the right, 8 to the top, and 2 to the bottom. You can press H to hide an object, and you can press Alt-H to unhide all the objects in your scene. You can press backslash, focus on only this object, and it will automatically hide everything else. And you can press it again to bring everything back. If you have a numpad, you can press period to focus on an object and rotate around it. If you press zero on your numpad, you go to your camera view. You can also press control alt zero to bring the camera to your view. You can press tab to enter and exit edit mode. While in edit mode, you can press three and select the faces, two to select the edges, and one to select vertices. Let's say you deleted an object and you don't like that. You can press control Z to bring it back. And you can also press control shift Z to redo the action. With two objects selected, you can press control J to join them together and now it's one object and you can edit them both in edit mode. You can press Shift R to duplicate actions. So if you made an action like duplicate an object, you can press Shift R to duplicate it multiple times. This works with edits as well. You can press Shift S to bring up this pie menu and move your 3D cursor around like this. You can press Shift Z to enter and exit wireframe mode. You can press Alt Z to enter and exit X-ray mode. You can press the tilde key to go to your different orthographic views. This is really useful if you don't have a number pad. You can press control tab to enter different modes like sculpt mode, edit mode, and texture paint. You can press Z to enter a shading mode to quickly go from object to rendered. When in edit mode, you can select an edge and press control B to bevel it. And you can press control shift B to bevel the vertices. You can press Ctrl R in edit mode to create loop cuts and scroll up and down with your mouse wheel to decide the number. You can press Alt D to create an instance of an object, and that will preserve all edit data you make to the original and duplicate the edits on the instance. It also takes up less memory, so it's useful in larger scenes. Remember those objects we joined together earlier? Imagine you didn't want them to be joined anymore, you wanted to separate them. Well, you can use Ctrl L while your mouse is hovering over one of the objects, and it'll select everything linked to it. Then you can press P and separate by selection. Then you can edit, exit edit mode and they are two separate objects now. You can select two objects and you can press Control P to parent an object to the other one. The second object will be the parent and when you move it around, the other object will transform accordingly. To clear the parent, select the child object, press Alt P and say clear parent and you can choose whatever option you want. Now it will not move. Say you've been creating an object and you find out you have a hole in it. You can select the edges around the hole and press F to fill it in, so now you have a face there. You can press E as a shortcut to extrude an object. And sometimes E doesn't work super well because you want to extrude outwards. So you can press Alt E and then extrude faces along normals to extrude out like this. With a face selected, you can press I to inset it. And when you have multiple faces selected, you can press I twice to inset each of them individually. While in edit mode, you can alt select an edge and that will select the loop that it makes up. Earlier, we talked about grabbing an object and then hitting it twice to slide along an edge. But what if we want to extend beyond it? 
all you have to do is hold Alt and you can go past its constraints. So you have multiple objects and you want them all to have the same material. All you have to do is select the objects that don't have it, then select the one with it last, press Control L, which will let you link the materials like this. I hope you learned something new because those are all the hotkeys I have for you today. Bye.